All right, guys, so today's video, I'm pretty much just doubling down on a video that I've done recently. I covered the brand new Sonos Ace noise canceling headphones, and I had opinions that pretty much didn't match a lot of the other videos that were coming out at the time that could have been sponsored, could have just been sent from the company. I'm not really sure. Uh, I actually purchased my pair of the Sonos Ace and I just wasn't as blown away by them as a lot of the other reviewers out there. And then usually when this happens in the comment section of those videos, uh, I tend to get a lot of, well, so-and-so said this or so-and-so said that. And you know, this person did uh, basically readings of this headphone compared to this headphones and looking at the charts, it should have been that the Sonos Ace was the better headphone. And I don't judge them by charts. I honestly think that, you know, audio products are gonna be different for everybody that's using them because we do not all have the same preference when it comes to sound. Mine is gonna be completely different than the next person. I'm a bass head where some people want a neutral sound and I like that at times and I understand when a product can have that approach, but if it doesn't have the bass that I like, it's not going to be something I'm happy spending $450 on, which was the cost of the Sonos Ace. So the point of today's video is I wanna do it in a more of a comparison to a pair of headphones that I am a huge fan of, which is the Sennheiser Momentum 4 wireless. Uh, right now you can actually pick these up for about $290, uh, although they normally retail, I believe at 380. But at $290, we're talking about $160 cheaper than the Sonos Ace. And it's stuff like this that makes it kind of hard to recommend products like the Sonos Ace because there's other products out there. There's other products that not only compete with them, uh, and in some areas, I think this Sennheiser Momentum 4 like is completely better than the Sonos Ace. So I wanna talk about a lot of this during this video. I know people are still gonna get their feelings hurt uh, because I'm not necessarily just endorsing a product that maybe they're a huge fan of, and that's okay. We all have completely different tastes. Sound is subjective anyway. I mean, it's just always going to be that way. Now, from a design and a build standpoint, I actually do like the build and the design better of the Sonos Ace. Uh, I feel like Sennheiser's with the Momentum 4, they kind of took a step backwards. Uh, the Momentum 4s, it looks like they're going for that Sony or Bose look. It's actually a lot like the uh, Microsoft Surface headphones. Uh, so it's pretty bland overall. There's nothing flashy here from a design standpoint, but the Sennheiser Momentum 4s are much more comfortable. They're a much lighter uh, pair of headphones where I felt like the Sonos Ace had too much weight to them and I felt like I could feel a lot of that on the top of my head. So I couldn't use the Sonos Ace as long as I could the Momentum 4. So as far as comfort goes, it definitely goes to the Momentum 4s, but the design I will give the Sonos Ace. Now, as far as technology, because the Sonos Ace is a newer headphone, it is using Bluetooth 5.4, where the Momentum 4s has Bluetooth 5.2. Now, they both support multi-point connection, so you can connect to more than one device at a time. Uh, they both also have Dolby Atmos support. Now, the Sonos Ace supports lossless audio in both Bluetooth and in wired mode, where the Sennheiser Momentum 4s support aptX Adaptive and aptX HD playback. So. Uh, both have pretty strong Bluetooth codecs here. The Sonos Ace also supports spatial audio with head tracking. Again, I've said this before, I'm not a huge fan of this. Now, this is something that they offer that the Momentum 4s don't. Uh, I find this to be gimmicky. It's not something, especially in music, that I like to use. So this is, again, going to come down to personal preference, and it's just not something I'm a fan of. Now, as far as the controls, I am a fan of the Sonos Ace controls because it's using actual physical buttons and uh, you have that slide with the button. So everything, you have that tactile feel where the Sennheiser Momentum 4s is using swipe gestures. Now, I don't have any issues with the swipe gestures. I just prefer button controls because it feels more precise. And then they both have smart sensors where it will pause the music once you take them off and it'll go back to playing what you're listening to when you put them back on. So uh, they both offer that feature. But for an overall rating, I'll give the Sonos Ace the check mark here because they're using those physical buttons. Now they both come with a nice hard case. They both have a fabric feel on the outside. The Sonos Ace has a magnetic pouch inside that's housing the USB-C to USB-C cable. It also has a USB-C to three and a half millimeter cable if you want to use them wired. Where the Momentum 4s 
has little basically compartments for the cables to go into. So there's a USB-A to USB-C. Uh, this is for charging. And then there is a two and a half millimeter to three and a half millimeter headphone cable if you want to use them wired. So you can use both headphones wired. Uh, both USB-C cables are what you use to charge both headphones. And the battery life there is definitely a difference. Now the Sonos Ace is going to give you a max of about 30 hours with the noise canceling on. Uh, it does have a fast charge feature where a three minute charge will get you about three hours where the Sennheiser Momentum 4s is gonna give you about 60 hours with the noise canceling on. And it also has a fast charge feature where a 10 minute charge will give you six hours of use. Now, both of these obviously work with their own apps. I feel like the Sonos app kind of had a bare bones feel to it. Uh, even with the EQ options, you could only slide the bass into treble. There was no control over the mids. Uh, you didn't have like a five band equalizer, which I would have liked to have seen. So at least I felt like I had a little bit more control where the Momentum 4's app gives you more control over the equalizer, but not much. This is something I didn't feel like it actually uh, responded very well to manually EQing these, but it does have what they call a personalized EQ uh, setting where you kind of go through some tests and you slide some things. And then in the end, it just kind of says here, this is what we think you would like. And that makes a world of difference. Now, I don't know if they did this on purpose, but once I went through the test, the headphones became much louder, much more vibrant, a lot more punch in the low end, a lot more brightness in the treble, that I couldn't get with messing around with the EQ adjustments myself. So it kind of feels like it's handicapped a little bit until you go through that sound personalization like hearing test. I don't really know why they did this. Now, as far as noise canceling and transparency modes, I do feel like the noise canceling is better on the Sonos Ace. I feel like it does a better job of blocking out people talking, but I feel like when it comes to lower tones, both do about the same job. And then when it comes to the awareness mode, I feel like I would give the advantage to the momentum force here. I felt like they sounded just a little bit more natural. Both are great in awareness mode. Uh, both are really good when it comes to noise canceling. I don't feel like either of them are better than the Sony or the Bose that are already out there. And I do feel like, you know, they're kind of comparable to the AirPod Max, which I'm not like saying that that's the best noise canceling. I, I, I definitely give that you know, to the Sony or the Bose already. But both do a really good job here. But now we're going to talk about the sound. And this is where I feel like there is the biggest separation. This is where I feel like the Sennheisers come in and just push the Sonos Ace out of the way. They were like, all right, you did everything else pretty well. But when it comes to the sound, this is just where we shine. And as a bass head, I was never completely happy with the Sonos Ace because it just never could give me that subwoofer type feel. The bass was fast, it was pretty accurate, and it could move along pretty quickly. I just never felt the impact that I enjoy feeling when I'm listening to headphones. And this is where the Momentum 4s just picks up all the slack. You can definitely have that subwoofer type feel. It's not trying to hold anything back. And at the same time, the bass is still pretty fast. It never got congested or muddy. Now, the EQ settings that the Momentum 4s have out of the box do have these headphones sounding a little too warm, in my opinion. I felt like the mids and the treble were a little subdued just out of the box. But once going through that personalized EQ test thing that Sennheiser has, this definitely just changed everything because that's where the treble had this nice brightness to it. If you're going to have bass that is that powerful, you are gonna want treble that has as much brightness to kind of you know balance that out. It, it can get so dynamic. I didn't have an issue with hearing male or female vocalists. I felt like the Sennheisers did a much better job in the mid-range. Also, same thing with D. Details, I felt like they were pulled out better in the Momentum 4s over the Sonos Ace. And when it comes to the bass, this is where I just feel like there's no comparison at all. But when it comes to the sound stage and the sound imaging, I would say they are both pretty comparable. There's not one that is that much better than the other. Uh, the noise canceling doesn't like close you in so much that it you know makes these not sound as wide as you would really want them to. So my overall opinion is this. It, it really is coming down to the sound and it's coming down to the price. And this is where the Momentum 4 just 
is leaps ahead in my opinion and it's cheaper it's just the better overall headphone and i know everybody's excited because the sonos ace is like the newest headphone out right now but it doesn't make it the best option so make sure you know you're going and checking and comparing them to other headphones out there in the market and i wanted to do this video to shine a little light on the momentum 4 that i think is highly underrated but guys that's my video and comparison between the sonos ace and the sennheiser momentum 4s Thank you so much for checking out this video. Thank you so much for checking out all the other videos. And as always, make sure to stay tuned for more.